Our next guest tonight comes by way of the Chicago Sun-Times. He worked at ESPN. He is now the latest writer to join the San Francisco Examiner. I was right for three years. Jay Mariotti has made a career out of controversy. He has been described as outspoken, sensationalistic, bombastic, and arrogant. And that's not all. Sports Illustrated reports that AOL has suspended blunt sports columnist Jay Mariotti. Mariotti was fired by ESPN following domestic violence charges against him in 2010. One year later, he was arrested on stalking and assault-related charges in which he pleaded no contest in exchange for community service and probation. So why would the San Francisco Examiner and SF Weekly hire him to be the editor of their sports page? The newspaper declined comment to KPIX, but SF Weekly editor Mark Kemp said recently, quote, of course we know about Mariotti's troubled legal history. We know he was accused of domestic violence and that he pleaded no contest and got probation for it. But we didn't bring Mariotti here to write about domestic violence. We brought him here to write about sports. And he's a terrific sports writer. You have a reputation as being a lightning rod. Why do you think that is? I might be the only guy in town writing hard opinion. That's why. Whether you like him or not, Mariotti moves the needle. Or at least he did. His style is abrasive and combative. He is not afraid of confrontation and not interested in making friends with colleagues or athletes. The former Chicago Sun-Times sports writer was once called a coward in the clubhouses by former colleague Chris DeLuca and a rat by the late movie critic Roger Ebert because Mariotti called the prestigious Sun-Times a dying business after leaving for ESPN. But now Mariotti is back in print, this time with the San Francisco Examiner. And joining us in studio is Jay Mariotti. Th Jay, thanks for coming in. There is a little bit of irony in criticizing the Chicago Sun-Times for its demise and then joining the San Francisco Examiner has a problem in circulation of its own. Agreed? Well, the, the Sun-Times, Dennis, had, had poisonous issues in-house. I mean, it wasn't really a... Uh, all newspapers are in decline, but some have a happier atmosphere. Uh, that place was uh, was death on earth, and I'm sure it'll die soon. I don't want it to die. I, I got a kick out of your open there. I mean, there, there's so much garbage and lies right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, that whole thing is just an internet compilation of crap. And and I'd be glad to knock each one down. I hope the people in the city, you know, we did a great piece on Steph Curry today. And just uh, check out the SF Weekly piece, and don't, don't believe the sensational nonsense. It, there, there was a bitter parting in Chicago. I left peacefully. A lot of people didn't handle it well. So be it. Sports has the same issues sometimes. Sure. You know? yeah. So from an outsider's perspective, though, there were some issues with the Sun-Times and with ESPN for obvious reasons. But this hire seems to make sense for both parties. The examiner is looking to move the needle. And from your perspective, it gives you another chance. Agreed? Is that a fair perspective? I, I don't. I think I was loving life. I was living in L.A. I, I didn't really need another chance. Mm -hmm. I, you know, it, it would have had to have taken a special situation. Well, here's here's a newspaper in a town where the Chronicle is losing money. The Examiner has a new owner, and they want to elevate sports. And this newspaper has 150 year history. So I weighed it, but I like the people I'm working for, and they're letting me hire people. And I think we have a great opportunity to do things in a, a city that not only is a spectacular town to live in, but right now if you're in the sports media, and you know this, mm -hmm. there's no more fertile ground in America than everything going on here. So I'm just excited to be here. I mean, Chicago, 17 years, there was such a, a, there was a war going on between Tribune and sometimes I was often in the middle of it. But uh, some of these interviews that, that you read there, it's, it's, uh, it's smear campaign crap, and I just I don't have time for it. Okay, addressing some of the stuff you sure. saw in that piece, as you know, domestic abuse has been front and center Absolutely. in the NFL, and certainly with the 49ers with Ray McDonald. You had multiple charges against you, uh, most recently in 2011, where you pleaded no contest. Why would you plead no contest uh, if you believe in your innocence? Uh, because I saved about a half million dollars in going to trial when ESPN had already played judge and jury. Now, why would I, if they're already deciding what happened, uh, why would I then go ahead and uh, do that? And, and, you know, I have a daughter in college at the time. I don't want to take her out of college. Sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, remember, there's a, a vast differentiation between no contest and pleading guilty. They never had anything on me when it came to a guilty plea. So what it becomes in Los Angeles is basically go ahead and take it to trial if you want. 
uh, or uh, plead no contest. Now, what you didn't run in your piece is that all of this was dismissed, expunged as not guilty. You're, you're, you didn't well, even run that. Well, wait, I mean, if expe you, dismissed, expunged as not guilty, the entire situation. But if you plead no contest, uh, you do not admit uh, guilt. Exactly. But uh, you do not claim you're innocent either. You no, simply I my innocence. I have claimed my innocence from day one. Our, our pleas were always entered as, as innocent and not guilty. Okay. And I didn't commit these crimes. Sometimes you're accused of crimes that are false allegations, and as the process takes its toll and the judges are predisposed and the prosecutors are after headlines, sometimes you just sit back, weigh it, and say, let's just take a break from this. We'll plead no contest. I didn't commit those crimes. And, and I've, ta I've wrote a book about it in okay, 2011, and, and that's it. And this is so, so old. I mean, we're now talking well, no, four and a half, five it, years old. Except now. that it has become forefront oh, I couldn't agree in more. NFL. You're a sports writer. You're going to have to cover issues like that. That's why it's going to be an issue no, for you. Right. And that's and why I was, the link to line of questioning is fair. And by the Ray Rice video, as anybody would be. Uh, I'm the father of two daughters, appalled by it, as horrified as you were or anybody else was, because I don't participate in it. But sometimes there are other circumstances. I invite people to read my book, look back at my case, okay. hear my side of it, hear what I was dealing with here. Okay. And you might understand that not everybody accused of this is Ray Rice, that you could be pulled into things in a very tricky way. Okay, good enough. i got to move on. 17 okay. years as a writer to sometimes. You obviously have talent. You're not going to stay at a station, uh, a newspaper that's sure. been there that long. What do you hope, uh, hope to accomplish in San Francisco? Is it the sports editor or sports director? I'm the sports director. Okay. What do you want to do with that newspaper? Oh, we just want to have fun and, and, and cover uh, in a very dynamic way what's going on in the Bay Area. I mean, all of these stories here. You have triumph. See, in Chicago, some of the reasons I get into trouble was... There are a lot of losing teams there. I walk into this city, and you've won three World Series in five years. You realize, Dennis, there was one World Series championship in the last 203 collective seasons in Chicago. One. Giants have won three and five. So you've got a Warriors team that is, is the most fun basketball team I've seen in a long time. I sat down with Steph, did a terrific one-on-one -on -one interview that appeared in today's paper. Uh, Steve Kerr is a lot of fun. I know him. It's a different environment. I know the 49ers are a train wreck right now, and I'm sure we'll get into it. We did in today's paper. But all in all, who wouldn't want to work in the Bay Area? I mean, there are so many wonderful stories here. And I'm, what do we hope to accomplish? Uh, to be in the middle of the game and to be covering things with my column and our other writers as well as anybody Will you get along with Bruce Be uh, Bochy better than you did with Ozzie Guillen? Ozzie Guillen <laughs> didn't get along with anybody. I mean, I was one of 15 <laughs> people Ozzie Guillen called out. But, you know, the name he called is something I can't even do on that. He's, he's out of his mind. Uh, Jay, thanks for coming in. Thank you. Appreciate Dennis. it very much. Jay uh, Mariotti, okay. the San Francisco Examiner. Uh,